The reload reason is a very cool option. It's a little bit disappointing in that it's not implemented with all the features that I personally would like. What it allows you to do is add a reason to your reload. So if you have a reload that's scheduled in the future, in this case we have one at 5 p.m. on the 4th of July, you can add a line to this, and that's what this bit is. Once you're past the date, it's going to use this as just a line input. It's going to now show your reason for reload as change control 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 which is very cool. The only uncool thing about it is it doesn't survive a reload. So as we saw earlier when the box reloads, you can do a show version begin uptime and it will show that reload reason. It'd be very cool if it, sh if it kept this uh, reload reason because you can see that the last time it was reloaded, the reason for this was not only a reload that we specified, but that it was tied to this change control. That functionality would be very cool. The good thing is, is it does show up in your log message. So you have logging configured to an external server this will survive because uh, the problem with a reload is that once you reload it, it destroys your logging buffer. So this doesn't show up afterwards after the reload. But if you have this going out to an external server, it would survive. It's also pretty cool with the uh, show reload command that it shows the reload reason. We'll take a look at the show reload command just a bit here. But basically it shows any pending reloads and it shows that reason there. But the new iOS version 15 does give you the reason option. So I haven't been able to play with that yet. Maybe that will show up in the show version I'm not sure uh, I know that with 12.4 code it does not and we'll take a look at this on the CLI if you do reload at 7 and if you invoke help you can see here that it's got all the information it needs so anything past this date is just going to be used as uh, input for the reason for reload and we can put change control confirm it and it's going to show up in our log message it will also show up when we do a show reload and I think that's pretty cool so if there's a pending reload it'll tell you the date that's gonna occur and if you put this in it's going to give the person taking a look at it and uh, you know the reason why this was scheduled and we just saw this guy in action the show reload command is your verification command it's gonna show any pending reloads on the device and this is a really good command to be aware of because you want to verify that you've canceled a reload or that you've got a reload scheduled then you could just go ahead and issue this command and it will show when it's scheduled for uh, who scheduled it and you know what line they were connected with and then that reload reason which we just showed here you can have that populated with uh, pertinent information okay and I saved the most important option for last and that is the cancel option for most Cisco commands the way to reverse out of it to disable it is simply to reissue the command and have no preceding it. Uh, in this case, if you have a reload that's pending, and this one was in two minutes and 55 seconds, and you're like, oh, I don't need that reload. I really, you know, it's the middle of production day. I can't have this reload. I need to stop this. You need to know this command. You need to know this command because no reload's not going to do anything. You can type, pretty please, iOS, don't fuck me over and reload this box. It's not going to do anything. What you need to do is issue the reload cancel command. As soon as you issue this command, it doesn't ask for verification. It will go ahead and it will stop any pending reloads. So it's going to give you a little message that says the shutdown has aborted. And it will also give you a log message saying that you canceled this at this time. So this is a very important one to know because if you're going to schedule a reload, you better know how to stop that reload in case you have to. So let's see that in action. We'll do a show reload and our reload that we just scheduled. Well, it's 570 some hours in the future, so it's not really imminent but if we want to stop this we just need to do reload cancel and spell it correctly and there you go and now if we issue the show reloads we should see that there are none pending and there are no reloads scheduled and that's going to wrap it up for this lesson i hope that you find that the options that come along with the reload command are as cool as i think that they are and as always thank you for joining me in the packet lab and i hope this helps you on your route to becoming a network god